One question that I get very often for pe from people doing qualitative studies is, Marek, how do I actually format um, the quotes from my participants and how, how, how does this formatting work in a research paper? How should it be done appropriately so my data can be published in a good journal? If you're also wondering about that and you want to know what the best practices are for formatting qualitative data for research papers, then stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So before we dive in, just to preface everything that I'm going to say here, is that, you know, the different ways of formatting qualitative data, right? Um, the different um, small formatting changes that you need to make depending on the journal. However, there are some universal principles that no matter which journal you want to publish in, you can follow. And these are the universal principles that I want to focus on um, in this video so that you know what you need to do and how to format your qualitative data. And before I show you how to do that on my laptop, if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkovek and I run Academic English Now, where I help PhD students and researchers regularly publish research papers in top journals in the field. So let's dive in, look at my laptop, and I'll show you exactly how to format qualitative data. So I'm going to use one of my papers as an example here to show you how to format qualitative data appropriately. So let's just scroll down to uh, the results section and let's see you know, how qualitative data is formatted. So we've got a nice chunk of text here where there's a lot of qualitative data right um, so you can see that you know what is done in here is that um, longer quotes are kind of paragraphs on their own right um, and notice that they are also placed in italics so so as to distinguish them from quotes from the literature and in this case I'm not even using quotation marks and the reason for that is that you know is to further distinguish them from quotes from literature and it's not really necessary to use quotation marks because they are block quotes i.e you know a block quote is like a separate um, paragraph right and they are in italic so it's clear that they are quotes from uh, participants right notice that another thing that i do in here is to have um, symbols for um, for the participants right and numbers so that the the reader can clearly understand um, who this response comes from, right? So the easiest way to format um, qualitative data is just to have it as, you know, as um, block quotes, as separate paragraphs and put it in italics. You don't have to use quotation marks. Now, definitely please check the referencing style of your journal because the journal might have specific requirements that are slightly different from this but the point definitely is that you want to make it different from quotes from literature so that you know the reader doesn't confuse which is which is which right so that's you know an example of where quotes are formatted as block quotes but of course you can also use them as part of their sentences as part of your sentences so let me show you how this is done so let me scroll to the results section of this paper, right, and show you um, a different way in which, you know, your qualitative quotes can be included. So we saw that they can be included as block quotes, but what we have in here, notice, is just the included within a sentence, right, um, inside the text. And this is really good if you have if you just need part of the quote, right? Um, and a big mistake that I think a lot of people make is that they think that they always need to use long quotes. You don't. You need to use the part of the quote that is relevant to support whatever point you're making, right? It's like showing numbers to people when you're presenting quantitative data that the you know the extracts from participants is your data and you don't need like five paragraphs sometimes you just need um, a couple of words right or maybe even 
two words, right? Um, like here to illustrate a particular point or give an example of a particular turn of phrase that was used by um, by that participant. And in here, notice that you know again we've got italics um, to distinguish um, the quote from the main text. You know, um, in this case, I didn't use quotation marks because it wasn't required by um, by the journal. However. I would recommend that you use quotation marks and italics here to further um, make them stand out in the sentence and make them more and make them easier um, to see um, as well, right? And notice that again at the end of that sentence we've got um, the participant in square brackets so that it's clear, you know, who said what, and it's very easy uh, for the reader to to understand that, right? And in here you can see an example of when the quote is included as a block quote, right? And notice that because, you know, in the sentence I'm saying here that uh, CB writer 10, right? I don't have CB 10 in square brackets at the end in here because it's not needed anymore. On the other hand, in these other examples, you know, I'm not using um, the participant as part of the sentence, right? Therefore, I'm just putting it at the end in here in square brackets. And before you put those tips into practice, don't forget to check with the journal what their requirements are because they might have some specific requirements like, for example, using or not using quotation marks around the extracts of qualitative data. Right? And if you want more tips like that, then don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. And if you want to work with me more personally and um, you want help to regularly publish research papers, then definitely schedule a free one-to-one -one strategy session. And the link to do that is right below this video. During this one-to-one -one consultation, either with myself or with a member of my team, we're going to dive deeper and identify the exact problems holding you back identify your goals, and then we're going to outline specifically what you need to do and how we can help you to achieve your goals faster.